Hey, what is going on guys? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS5 tutorial. So in this one, we're going to be looking at a couple of ways that we can do remote package installing. So that's installing package files, which are used for your PS4 games, your, your emulators like PS1, PS2, your applications, your homebrew applications and game updates. They're all installed as package files and normally you have to copy them to a USB drive or external hard drive and then plug that into the PS5 and install them with the package installer with the debug settings however what you can do instead is transfer them over the network and install them over the network so that you don't have to copy them to a usb drive so it's a pretty handy feature i covered the homebrew store method a little while ago that method was a bit complicated to set up but now that we have access to items flow we have two other methods that we can use to do remote package installing first thing we want to do is go on the web browser and run the jailbreak of course and then once you have the jailbreak up and running, you want to load the ETA hen payload and note down the IP address of your PS5 on the host. So once you've done that, we'll skim over the first method because the first method honestly is not the best method for doing remote package installing, but it is an option. So the first method, all you need to do is use FTP. So you can take your package files, connect on FTP by entering the IP address and port number 1337 into your FTP client like FileZilla or WinSCP or you can do FTP from within Windows itself. You can then copy your package files into the data folder on the hard drive through FTP. So the files are uploaded through FTP and then once the package files are on the data folder on the hard drive, you can then run items flow on the PS5. Hit the options button and select the package installer. And then on the package installer, you're going to select the data folder, find the package file you copied with FTP on the data folder, and then press square to select it. And it will install that package file onto the PS5. So once it's now been installed, you can then delete the original package file with FTP from the data folder, get rid of it. And now you have the package file installed. And that was done over the network without requiring a USB drive. Now, the problem with that method and the reason why I skimmed over it so quickly is that it's not a really good solution because for one, the transfer speeds are quite slow. There's some kind of limitation on the PS5 with the network speed. So it limits it down to about like eight megabytes per second, thereabouts, eight or nine megabytes per second. So transfer speeds are really slow. And then on top of that, it's a three step process because you have to copy the file through FTP, then install it with items flow and then delete it from the hard drive afterwards with FTP. So that's three stages. So not the best solution. The best solution, in my opinion, is to use the NFS share option that's built in to items flow. Now, this does take a little bit of setup, but once it is set up, it's super easy going forward. So any future times that you want to install package files, it's going to be really simple. But we just need to take a little bit of time to get it set up initially. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what you need to do is download WinNFSD which I will leave linked in the description. There's a GitHub repo for it. You can just download the executable. In order to use NFS on Windows, you want to get this application. So download the application, copy it somewhere on your computer, like your desktop. And then what we want to do is create a folder where we're going to copy our package files to. Now, what you could do is use the download folder that you download all of your package files to and use that as the folder that you want to share. That way your PS5 will have access to the whole downloads folder of your computer and all the package files that are on there. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to create a new folder and we'll call it PS5 share. And I'll copy these package files in here as an example. So what we're wanting to do here is we want to run the terminal. So right click on the desktop and open in terminal or right click in whichever folder when the NFSD is located in. It needs to be the same folder that the executable is located in. And you also want to type in IP config and press enter and grab the IP address of your computer or the IP address of the network adapter that the console is connected to if it's on a wire, wired connection. In my case, that's going to be this one here. Uh, but you just basically want to find the IP address of the network adapter that's providing your computer with the internet connection. Copy that IP address. And then if we clear the screen, we can then get the command going, which is going to be win nfsd.exe in fact you need to do dot forward slash at the beginning if it's in powershell and then we're going to do dash addr and then the ip address of our 
computer. And then we're going to press space. And then we want to get the location of the folder that we're sharing. So if we hold down the shift key on your keyboard, right click on the folder and then go down to copy as path. Select that option and then right click to paste it into your PowerShell window or your command prompt window. And then we're going to do space forward slash. So that is the command right there. That's the command you want to enter. If we press enter, you can see it is now running. So that is it right there. Now, what you can also do to make this easier to access in future, so you don't have to retype the command every single time, is copy the whole command besides the dot forward slash at the beginning. So copy the rest of the command here. And then if you open up a notepad document on your computer and paste in the command and then do file save as, and I'm just going to select my desktop here. I guess we'll call the file launch share dot bat and then change the save as type to all files and then click save and then that will create a bat script. So in future to access this command, if we cancel this, you can just double click this and it will run it automatically. So that's just kind of a handy way to do it in future. Just double click that it will run it instead of having to type in the command every single time. And it's now sharing this folder over the network. So all we need to do is switch back over to items flow on our PS5. If we cancel and exit, we can go to fuse NFS IP. We're going to select this option and we're going to type in NFS. So NFS, and then we're going to do colon two forward slashes. And we're going to type in our IP address. So 192.168. And this is going to be the IP address of our computer, not of the PS5, of course. So the IP address of my computer that I got from the IP config command, and then a forward slash at the end. Very important, you add that forward slash at the end, and then click done. And there we go, successfully connected to NFS share. Now, if the connection fails, it could be because the firewall on your computer is blocking the connection, in which case you can test that by disabling the firewall and then checking to see if you can connect again. And if you can connect after disabling the firewall, you'll have to add some kind of exception to win NFSD in your firewall to allow the connection. But from here, what we can do now is we can save settings. And if we go back, we should be able to install all of our package files. Now we can just hit the options button, go back to the package installer. And then from here, we can go to, if we scroll up past the forward slash, it will take us to the bottom option, which is the NFS share. And if we select that, you can see we have all of our files right here. Well, we'll go ahead and install them individually then. So we'll do Minecraft first. I know it's already installed, so that might cause a problem, but let's see. So copying from NFS share. And there we go, 173 megabytes done. So that was actually pretty fast right there, as you could see. There we go, ready to play. So that has successfully installed. So let's try PT. If you remember, PT was pretty slow with the FTP transfer method. But with this method, we'll see if it's any faster. So one gigabyte, 3%, 7%, 10%. So it's definitely going a little bit faster than you're getting from FTP. So the benefit of this NFS share method, even though it takes a little bit longer to get it initially set up, it is better to use once you have it set up because it is a little bit faster in terms of the transfer speeds. And especially if you point the NFS share to your downloads folder, then any new package files that you download will automatically appear in items flow in your NFS share folder, and you can install it directly over the network from there. So now it is similar to the FTP method where it's transferring using NFS to a location on the hard drive. It's downloading the package to a location on the hard drive, and then it's installing it. And that does mean that it leaves a package file on the hard drive. It does not automatically delete it after it's downloaded. However, whenever you install another package file with NFS share, it will overwrite the previously downloaded package with the new one that you're installing. So you don't really have to delete the original package, but if it's a really large package and it's taking a lot of space on your hard drive, once it's installed, it, it gives you the location of where the package file is. So user app item 0001 downloads. So if you go to that location on PS5 Explorer or with FTP, you can then delete the package file from that location afterwards if you want to free up some space. Otherwise, you can just wait till you install the next package file, which will overwrite the previous one. There you go. As you can see, that should be PT added to downloads. And it should now be installed more or less. 
Yep, there it is right there. There we go, it's now installed, ready to play. Now there is an issue right now with version 1.06 of items flow where the NFS share IP address does not save even if you clicked save in the settings. When you reload the application, it will no longer appear there. It, you'll have to re-enter the IP address every single time. So I do have a fixed version linked down in the video description that you can install that will save the IP address properly. So it will reload the share every time you reboot items flow. If you're watching this in the future, the official version will probably be fixed, in which case you can just download the latest version of Items Flow from the Homebrew store and it should have that issue fixed. So anyway, that's a couple of ways that you can do remote package installing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.